Hey guys, it's Mason here, and today I'm bringing you a Frost Guide! I know, we got some new characters, and I'm excited to go over both of them, but first, I'm gonna start out with Frost, cause why not? First, let's go over the playstyle of Frost, which is to be a floater. With two armor and speed, this makes her a great mid-range floater. Now onto her loadout. She has an amazing lineup. You should use the Super 90 as your main, as it is fast firing and has a high damage output, even at medium range. While her other gun, the 9mm C1, although has a slightly better range than the shotgun, has a miserable 364.1 DPS, and would honestly be more useful if it shot marshmallows. Hey, at least your team would have some snacks then. Her pistol is a nice heavy hitter, and for the gadget, you have two equally great options. Nitro cells, which are great for an aggressive floater that plans on running into some shielders, or the deployable shield, which works great in tandem with her trap. Personally, I prefer the C4, as I am usually very aggressive, and on a good team, another teammate will already have a deployable shield to place down for the shield trap combo, so Nitro Cell becomes the better choice. Lastly, going over her special ability and the most effective way to utilize it. Her ability is a very inconspicuous, placeable, mechanical mat trap, which instant downs an enemy on contact. Now notice I said mechanical. This means that neither Thatcher's EMP nor IQ Scanner works on them. At first look, this trap appears to be large and easily noticeable, but with proper placement, becomes a force to be reckoned with. Here are a few tips for placement that I've come up with. First off, keep the mid-range away from objectives, just as you would with cap can traps, to increase the likelihood of catching an enemy. Secondly, putting it on the top or midway up the stairs for the stairs that have two sets, make it harder for the enemy to spot while they are aiming down sights. For the third tip, put them around corners or objectives to obscure enemy view, like a table, bar, etc. The traps are hard to spot while rounding the object or corner. Last, a few interesting ways to hide your traps and catch enemies by surprise. Number one, put them in planters or bushes to almost completely obscure them and their presence. As well as watch out for other spots on the map like this one on Chalet, where the trap blends in perfectly with the mats which are found all over the house. Number two, put them behind a teammate's shield similar to Capcan's trap, but be careful as the enemy can vault and shoot at the trap before it catches them. Number three, the most obvious, possibly, is have someone put barbed wire on top of it to hide it. It won't completely hide it, so as the enemy will tend to see it and shoot it, but that will give away the enemy's position, so it still becomes an effective knowledge-based deterrent. Number four, and the final one, be careful when placing near windows, as putting them too close will result in an enemy swinging over them, as well as when an enemy blows a breaching charge, they will be destroyed if it's too close to the wall or window when the breaching charge go off, so give it about a two foot space. It's pretty easy to gauge, pretty easy to see. Well guys, that's pretty much all I got for Frost. Hope you know how to play her competitively now. Hope you like this. Hit that follow, like, subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment. I would also very much appreciate it. And remember guys, it's been Mason here, and I will see you next time.